Coinbase's co-founder and CEO is here, Brian Armstrong, and we are at the company's headquarters this morning. He's got a new uh, op-ed out on CNBC.com. It is titled, Offshoring Crypto Hurts the Financial System and America's Geopolitical Standing. I want to welcome him this morning. Good morning. Thanks, Andrew. So you have a, a fascinating piece, and this really goes to what I think is the big issue, which is, do you believe, and I know what you believe, but you know, should policymakers enact some form of real legislation here um, if we don't, what happens in terms of that business going abroad? And can it be done without regulation, which is to say, I think a lot of folks look at what the SEC is doing right now, and they're looking at, you know, enforcement actions across the board mm -hmm. that are trying to make a point, but maybe not necessarily creating clear guidelines and, yeah. and, and what the right answer is. Yeah, I mean, I think new legislation is needed. And the reason is that if you look at Americans, 80 percent of them feel like the current financial system doesn't work for them. You know, the, the fees are too high, the delays are there, uh, it doesn't serve everybody equally. And so, and it's not surprising, by the way, you know, the current financial system is built on 40-year-old technology. Some of the laws have been around for 100 years before the Internet even existed. And so, you know, my belief is that cryptocurrency is actually the most important technology that can help update the financial right. system. And what's really cool to see is that actually the user base of crypto, you know, advocates out there, there's one in five households in the U.S. are now using crypto. They're actually coming together and starting to get organized and saying, we want to elect candidates across 435 congressional districts that will help create this industry here in America safely. Do you think realistically we are closer to regulation? Becky and I and Joe were talking about this earlier. And, you know, it feels like we're closer, but also feels like maybe we're, we're just as behind as we were five years ago. Yeah. Well, I've been spending more and more time in D.C., and what's great to see is that there is strong bipartisan support for legislation. I think everybody saw what happened with FTX, and they said, okay, we need to make sure there's strong consumer protection. We also recognize that there's innovation potential here, and we don't want this to be like 5G or um, something like that, you know, the semiconductor industry that got moved offshore too much. We need this to be built here in America with strong consumer protection. So. There's at least three different groups I'm aware of in D.C., uh, senators that are working on different bills being drafted in various different forms. And, you know, it's, it's, it takes a, lot, a small miracle anytime something actually becomes law. But I'm excited to see that there's people who are passionate about that, making that happen. And I think, we, I think the voters in America want to see that. They're going to elect candidates coming up who are going to advocate for that. So what do you tell the crypto, the, the crypto critics? And I'm thinking um, Senator Elizabeth Warren, she has said the following. She says, we have money laundering rules that cover banks and credit unions and stockbrokers and gold dealers and even Western Union. But current rules don't cover big parts of the crypto industry. And crypto likes it that way. Is she right? No, that's just simply not true. I mean, Coinbase is a great example of this. I, I started this company more than 10 years ago now. And I started it in the United States for a reason. I believed that this needed to be built here in a compliant and regulated way. So we've actually been regulated for about 10 years now. Right. I mean, we initially sought out money transmission licenses here in the U.S. because that was the closest thing we could find to a, to a license that made sense. We've since gone beyond that. I mean, we got one of the first bit licenses in New York. We're regulated by the CFTC, a federal regulator here, we registered with FinCEN. And by the way, that's just in, in America. So... The U.S. risks really being left behind here a little bit. You know, the rest of the world is actually moving and, and trying to right. draw crypto companies in. You know, London and Singapore and Hong Kong and the financial hubs of the world are saying we want crypto to be built here. Europe just passed comprehensive crypto legislation. And so right. the U.S. really risks uh, falling behind. What do you